Hello everyone, and, uh, I am Kant, and welcome to the fifth episode of Let's Play KSP Hard. Well, in this episode I found uh, two contracts. I got two contracts here. One is to test the MK-16 parachute in flight over Kerbin, and the other is to test the Rockamas brand decoupler in flight over Kerbin. So, they are just two small tests to perform to get some money. Now, I will get more missions like this to get more money in the future, which I will probably skip or fast forward, because they are not very interesting, you know? They may be somewhat of a challenge to complete, yes, but generally is just grinding for money, for fans. So yeah, that's it. So let's start uh, this mission. I think that this will be more than enough for what I need. So yeah, this mission will get me something like 30,000 fans. It costs 5,000, so it's a gain of about 25,000. Yeah, that's very hard math right there. Okay, so yeah, Jebediah Kerman, I hope that you survived this test. And let's see, the first one to make should be the, the parachute one. So let's stage it properly and let's start. Okay, I don't like this. I forgot the fins, the stabilizing fins, the rocket. So let's see what happens. Okay, speed is all right. It's rising. Altitude is rising. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh, abort mission. Abort mission. Abort now. 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 This is not going to end very well. So yeah, let's just abort it. Uh, so decouple. There we go. Activate parachute. Thank you. There we go. Slowly falling towards the space center. Well, <laughs> that's that was a failure because I didn't put the fins on the rocket. So yeah, I will fast forward. See you soon. Okay, so we have a touchdown very close to the space center. Recover the vessel. Let's put those stabilizing fins there. Well, I forgot them, and uh, there is no excuse for that. But it's quite late in the night. I had an exam today, and it was quite tiring. So, yeah. So I thought, why not? Let's, let's record one episode. Maybe someone will watch this. Maybe someone will like it. I will relax a bit, you know. And yeah, it will be all good. So, the fins, four of those for stabilization. Yeah, th this is kind of stupid, you know, but, well, y if you want to test it, if we want to test it, then that's how we have to do it. So, yeah, let's launch again. Oh, you you saw all the mission parameters. We have to achieve a speed of 300 to 700 meters per second at an altitude between 7,000 and 13,000 meters. After which I will activate the parachute, which should not deploy because of the minimal pressure. And yeah, it should be all well. Then I will continue rising until I get to an altitude between 12,000 and 21,000 21, and that speed right there. 
So let's test it. I don't know how steep I should go with this one. No, but well, I think this would be good. If I see that my that my speed is rising too fast, I can flatten my trajectory. If it's not rising fast enough, then I can flatten my trajectory as well. Well, yeah, everything is resolved by flattening your trajectory, you know? Unless it's too flat, then don't flatten it anymore. No, that wouldn't be good. Okay, I need to flatten it now, because you see I don't have enough speed and I'm rising quite fast. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm, I get the speed, so let's just wait until I get to that altitude. I am at that altitude. Activate. Done. And now I just have to keep rising. Keep building up speed. As you see, I have more than enough fuel to, to do that. To get this done. Okay. Uh, surface speed is alright. And... Deactivate stage. Alright. The test is complete. We have uh, mission success. Oh, well, we are on the night side, which is bad because you cannot see anything really. So, yeah, I mean, the parachute is right here. You see? It, it will deploy at a safe altitude, I think. In any case, if it deploys too soon and it breaks, or it tears, or however you say it, well, then I have the reserve parachutes, which, you know, I don't want to lose Jebediah, he's the only pilot I have left because I killed Val in, the fir in her first mission, first ker Kerbal in space, and she died. So yeah, that was fun. Okay, no, unfortunately, uh, I deployed the parachutes here. Accidentally, I hit space, but you see, it's not all so bad. So that was a long fall, and I didn't want you to watch it, <laughs> because it's just boring. I had to sit through it, and it wasn't fun. So yeah, I got a bit of science, eh, bots, but look at that, a hundred thousand funds, that's something. And more reputation, which is good, and here we are, mission complete, look at that, mission complete, contract complete, that's great. So, I am going to find some new contracts for us, and I will see you right now. So, here we are again, and this is a fun mission, because we have to test the launch escape system, hell yeah! This is something that I, I... I'm going to do launch escape systems now, because, you know, I don't want my Kerbals to die in failed launches. So, yeah, I can test this one. I mean, of course, this one is locked for me right now, and it will unlock in the future the far future actually it's not so easy to unlock as far as I remember but we can make our own launch escape system with uh, early technology and you will see how it uh, will work hopefully it will be safe enough so yes so this is my vessel for testing this is the launch escape system which will detach from the pod that has two parachutes. Actually, the parachutes, I will stage them separately, just in case something happens. We don't want to lose our only pilot. And here we have our oversized rocket for this mission. Of course, it's oversized, it's curable. I mean, why wouldn't it be oversized? Yeah, now, I do have the winglets this time, so I did not forget about that. And I think that this should get us 
high enough and fast enough. Here you see altitude and speed. So yeah, uh, as soon as we hit that speed, I will activate the launch escape system. But I will not throttle down the rocket. I want to see if it have it, it has enough acceleration to push us away. Well, uh, as you see here, we have a thrust to weight ratio of 34, which is pretty deadly, I would say. I, I think that people could die uh, at that the, at those G forces right there. It's only a half second burn, mind you. No, it's in a half second you get 200, almost 200 delta V in a half a second. So yeah, that's a lot. So without further ado, let's test this. Now it's a shame that I cannot uh, build rockets with this ex escape, escape system, but with a few technology analogs, I think I will be able to make an improvised escape system soon enough. So let's start our mission. Let's launch. I will I think I will go mostly vertically. Well it's a bit of a turn here, but yeah. Uh, I'm not trying to get to space, so I don't care that much about efficiency. What I do care about is getting at that altitude and that speed. Again, and this time I didn't, I didn't see how much this system costs, but it pays sixteen thousand, I think. But let, let, let's face it, I didn't do it for the money. I did it because of the launch escape system. I want to test it. I want to see how it works. It works as it's supposed to. Okay, now we are gaining some altitude here, but I need more speed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything seems fine. Yeah, we are almost at the need speed. Need it? Yeah, we hit the speed and now the altitude. And now the launch escape system. And launch. Oh my god. Wow. I think that it works. Look at that rocket right there. Wow. <laughs> it's... Well... It's going crazy. I think it's accelerating towards the ground. And uh, yeah, bye bye rocket. Uh, we are not going to see you again. So now the launch escape system has been used. We can det detach it. Bye bye. Oh, that's bad. I got stuck with this thing right here. Well, that will teach me for the, for the next time I do something like this. So yeah, the parachute is activated. So let's just wait until we get low enough. And here we have a safe splashdown. Mission is complete. We got sixty thousand funds. We tested the launch escape system. It works great, I think. So let's recover the vessel and find a new mission. Hello and welcome again. Now I have two missions now, two contracts. Both of them require me to orbit Kerbin and right now I see I have a slight problem. So I will just do a quick fix here. Okay, so one of the missions is to test the LY10 small landing gear while in orbit around Kerbin. So I will just place 
this here like this and the other one is to test the MK55 THAAD liquid fuel engine orbiting carbon as well so this engine right here so I hope that uh, I can get to space with this rocket I need to to be able to make a stable orbit and uh, yeah well as you can see, see I have the extra parachutes here which is nice it will let me survive I hope as always Jebediah Kerman is our pilot and uh, we have three stages we have the upper stage to achieve orbit and to do the tests. We have the main stage, which will lift us high above Kerbin. And we have the booster stage, which will give us the initial boost that we need to get to space. So yeah, let's get it started. Now, this time I do worry about making an efficient orbit, orbital insertion. So, let's see how I, how I do about that. Because it's been a while since I last played. Um, I'm quite tired, but I think we will get there in one piece. There we go. Oh, that's some nice cheese right there. have some roll here that I is a bit in control the roll and there you are here we go wow that's a lot of speed I need to turn okay wow I can barely control this wow we are going fast hell yeah we are going fast Look at that. No oh, booster stage is spent. So let's just. Oh, 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 no, 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 don't, don't do that to me, don't do that to me. Okay, there we go. I just want to make it to orbit. It doesn't have to be in a controller orbit, but whatever. Just let me go to orbit, please. Please kind to me, sir. Uh, let's see the fuel. We are doing rather good. Okay, we are out of the atmosphere now, so it should be more controllable. With a bit of luck. Oh, I should have placed a different engine here one which has a gimbal. This does not want to turn. Okay, nice orbit right there. Nice height. Now I just need to wait a bit. And uh, yeah. Well I still need about a thousand Delta V. So let's get there. Okay, next stage. I do hope I do hope to have enough fuel. Okay now, that's too high of an apoapse. Let's accelerate this a bit. Okay, almost there, almost there, and there we go. Now I can burn. We are doing good on the fuel. There we go, there we go. And 77,000, that's good. 
Well, it's barely good enough, but at 70 minutes so now, I have to do the experiments right at the periaps. Okay. But it's good. Now, some more spent stages there. Now, I, I have enough fuel to make it back to Kerbin. So, yeah. Good. As you see, we are on the day site. It's morning. The Kerbal Space Center, which is right there. Right there it is. Or is it there? Hmm. Well, now. I do not know. <laughs> so, yeah, let's. Uh, Time warp to periaps. Another stage destroyed. Not a big deal. They were cheap stages, and I'm going to get a lot of money from this contract. Hell yeah. Now we are getting to the periaps. And get ready to make the experiments. So our, our altitude is shown here, up there in the screen, and now we are high enough to perform the tests. So I can activate those engines, there we go, and I can run the test. There we go, both done. And now I can try to lower my orbit to land somewhere near the Kerbal Space Center. Let's see if I can achieve that. Okay, we are inside the atmosphere, so now we will landing. Okay, so that's quite steep. I think something like that will will do. Okay, so how much fuel do I have left? Well, 16 units of liquid fuel. Not much, but you see, it was just the amount of fuel that I needed to get to orbit. Which is good. It's nice. It's efficient. I can get to orbit with 30 parts. Yay! Okay, I think we are going to land on the... somewhere about here, really. I'm not very good at calculating the... the landing site. Unless I get the orbit to about 30,000, the periaps. Then I know more or less where I'm going to land. But, yeah. Let's see to this. I have the periaps at 2,000. And for future reference, I will know more or less where to land. So I'm going to time accelerate this for you, and see you soon. Okay, here we start having our first re-entry effects at 46,000 meters of altitude. Well, let's see if we can save this spacecraft intact. That would be a nice episode finisher. Indeed. Well, we landed a bit far away from the Kerbal Space Center, which is there, now I see it. Yeah, it, it's here. Not here, nor here, it's here. Here is the Space Center. So, we landed a bit far I away from it. I but I hope to... Refine my approaches in the future. So 
there we go, our first parachute. And nope. That was not meant to happen. We were not slowing down fast enough. So, uh, yeah, I had to eject. Unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> I was scared there for a second. But I am not risking Jebediah's life. Oh no, after what happened to Valentina. Oh, thank you. So, well, this has been all for today. I hope that you like the episode. And feel free to leave a comment. Leave a comment if you liked it. Leave a like. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. And thank you. See you next time.